All right, you guys, it is time for my honest thoughts and opinions on the girl of the year for 2025, Summer McKinney. Let's get into it. All right, welcome back. Hello, hi, how are you? So it's time for my honest thoughts and opinions on the girl of the year for 2025, Summer McKinney. Now, if you haven't watched my last video, I did open up some of Summer's items. I also got the doll. I gave you guys my first impressions of things. However, okay, I kind of breezed over the fact that I did see a lot of her collection before her release. Thank you to all the people that sent me some little leaks here and there of her collection. So I actually have been brewing my thoughts and opinions for a hot minute now, actually, and seeing everything either solidified my thoughts or it kind of changed my opinions on things. So this video really is going to be for people that are back and forth on certain things within the collection. I've seen everything in person now. I've touched everything in person. I went to the soft launch yesterday or the day before now. Whenever time you're watching this video, it was on the 12th. But basically, I did go see everything in person. And so in my personal opinion, I think that certain things are worth it, but certain things are definitely not worth it. I know a lot of people are going back and forth on whether or not they actually want to get Summer, whether or not they like her, the pros, the cons, all of those different things. A lot of conversations are happening right now and a lot of people are kind of like hit or miss about whether or not they like Miss Girly Pop, Miss Summer McKinney. So I am going to put my two cents into the mosh pit? No, that's definitely not it. I'm going to give my two cents into the world and you can take it as you will. That is what we're doing today. Before we get started, a couple of things that I just want to go over. I do want to say first and foremost that I have an understanding that these dolls are for children. I understand that. I know that as an adult, we are not the target demographic. These are for children. All of these opinions are my own. So I just want to reiterate that because I think that it's very easy as collectors for all of us to kind of talk within one another and then we have to remind ourselves right we are not the target demographic for this stuff so i do want to make you guys aware of the fact that i'm aware right, that i am critiquing a children's brand and that the american girl brand is meant towards children however of course like anything else there are some critiques that i would like to give and kind of throw into the wind and see who catches them if that makes sense. But anyway, all right, so without further ado, let us get started. So Summer McKinney, I have her here. Girly, come down over here. So here is my Summer doll, okay? First and foremost, I do wanna say that after having her for a hot minute, she is definitely a cutie patootie. I definitely like her. Now I am going to change camera angles and all that so that way you guys can, you know, see some HD quality photos of her. And I do wanna give you guys my honest thoughts and opinions with like the pictures and everything. I'm not going to be holding up stuff or anything. If you would like to see in-depth views of everything as I unbox them, I have a video and that will be in the link below. So definitely make sure you guys go check out that opening video because there's a lot of her collection in that video. So let us get started. So let's start off with Summer herself. So Summer is $125 and she comes with her glasses, her bracelets. She comes with two braids in her hair. She is the Nenea mold. She has blue eyes, strawberry blonde hair, and her meat outfit is her meat outfit. So first initial thoughts when I opened her were the fact that I actually really like the doll as a base. I don't like the meat outfit. I think it is actually one of the worst meat outfits that American Girl has ever created. I think that this outfit very much gives Luciana Vega vibes where in like five years it will feel so unbelievably outdated. The colors on it are extremely bright and I do like very very bright things. I just feel like they could have done this in a way that it's not so in your face like Ah, you know, it very much gives justice, Claire's. It very much gives just that entire aura. And from my understanding, she is a little bit older. I think she's like 10 or nine. I did actually start reading her book. And from my understanding, she is, yeah, 2015. That's disgusting. <laughs> the fact that she is nine years old, nine, yeah. This is 2024. Well, technically it would be for her year, so she would be 2025. So she's 10 because if she's supposed to be the girl of the year and this book and her year is supposed to be next year, she technically would be 10. 
but this year she's nine because she's already had her birthday. Yeah, so she would be nine and she next year will be 10. So when her story takes place, she is going to be 10. But she is fairly older in my opinion for the girl of the years. I feel like some of them have been as young as like eight years old. She is on the older side. Now it came to my understanding, I don't know if any of you guys watch Hope Scope, but essentially there is this new aesthetic called Preppy, which is a Gen Z alpha z thing i don't know the the whole like generation thing like always confuses me but essentially like preppy instead of it being very like blair waldorf it's now very like colorful and bright and like in your face just like rainbow is like the whole aesthetic so i think that they were doing a doll that is very like significant to that specific aesthetic and i feel like if you look at it from that perspective they kind of hit it really on the nose with that the biggest thing that i love about summer is the fact that she has glasses these glasses you guys that she comes with it really is like so simple to really put a positive light on things growing up when i was younger wearing glasses was seen as like the ugly trope if that makes sense like i remember when i would watch hannah montana i remember there was an episode where like lily was really insecure about her glasses i also think about like ugly betty and the fact that like she wore glasses and like it wasn't until she took off her glasses that she was considered pretty so for me growing up seeing an american girl doll with glasses definitely would have made me feel a little bit more you know not self-conscious about glasses in general so i love the fact that she needs her glasses i'm a negative seven in both of my eyes so i am definitely blind and miss girly over here being blind is definitely a characteristic that i love about her i really really do so that's really really amazing that american girl did that the hairstyle that she comes with i feel like it's just kind of redundant and just there they could have done without it but because they did it i don't mind it i feel like it really just pulls together her whole look. But again, if it was there or it wasn't there, I definitely wouldn't be pressed about it. Even if they had done like two little like pigtails on either side of her hair, I don't think I would have been that mad about it either because it, its entire purpose is basically just to show off the fact that she has like pink pastel hair pieces within her wig. And so again, I feel like it's just there to signify the fact that you can like see the pink in the front of her face. Aside from that, I like her hair length. I don't think that it's annoying. Ooh, Overall, I definitely would say, in my personal opinion, that she, as a doll, just a doll, is a-okay in my book. I love the pastel pink. I wish there was more, and I do wish her wig was just a hair thicker. Maybe mine just is a thinner wig, but her wig is definitely nowhere near as thick as Corinne's, because I remember when I got my Corinne doll, I was like, wow, there was a lot of hair in here, but Miss Girly Summer McKinney, she's got, like, a medium amount of hair in her wig. It's like... Fine. I am a little annoyed by the fact that they reused the sandals. It's fine. Now, the journal. These books, I really just like, I... <sighs> As an adult reading these, I always get upset because I feel like the quality that I grew up with, kids aren't going to have today, if that makes sense. I feel like that's where a lot of collectors get really, really upset, is the fact that the quality of American Girl that we know and we grew up with, we cherish so much. And it's because we know of a time when American Girl's quality was pretty like amazing. And now seeing them cut corners with these new generations, I feel like we're very protective of the new generation and we want them to to experience the things that we experienced and quality I think is definitely at like the head of that I think that that's where a lot of American Girl collectors get upset with American Girl is the fact that we see that they are not giving us the quality or giving kids today the quality that we think that they even deserve for the price point and that's fairly upsetting I feel like it's really sad to see a lot of children kind of not know what they could have been getting if American Girl actually like got it to Together. But I understand that they're trying to cut back on costs for things. I know that inflation's a thing. All of that mumbo jumbo. So I understand why they're doing things, but I can see where collectors definitely get upset about the quality. And it's because we grew up with a very specific American Girl brand and kids today are kind of being, I don't want to say cheated, but they're not necessarily getting the same quality. And it's upsetting that the price tags for everything American Girl is the same, but the quality has definitely dwindled. And I feel like that's where we as collectors get the most upset. That's my little piece on that. Now the boxes. Nothing was crazier than the day that she released and getting DMs being told that people thought that I was lying. I would not have made that video if I 
wasn't 110% sure that this was actually going to happen. Now, I did see these boxes before they released with Summer. When I released the video of me talking about this redesign, I knew that it was gonna be kind of hit or miss with people. I definitely was upset more so for people that got to experience American Girl in store. And I know that not everyone has that privilege or that luxury of having that. However, now that we all know what these boxes look like, unanimously, I can say for a fact that the general consensus right now is that we as a collective unit do not like these boxes. I've seen people on Facebook groups, in their stories, on Facebook, like pretty much everywhere do full on dissertations of why these boxes are tacky, why these boxes are actually not eco-friendly, why these boxes are a step backwards. Like people are definitely very upset about these boxes. Just doing like a quick little like swipe through some Facebook pages, I was able to see that people are actually really, really upset about these boxes. Now here is the good news about these boxes. American Girl is doing this as a test, as a trial, which means that if you voice your opinion to American Girl through the phone, over email, if you go in store and tell an associate, they will relay the information to management and management will let people up in corporate know. But basically, they, from my understanding, want your feedback on these boxes. So if these boxes are something that actually upset you, I definitely would say go ahead and voice. Now, I'm saying this you know, not to incite anything. I don't wanna be the one to start the riot. All I'm saying is, is that here's American Girl's phone number, here's American Girl's customer service email, and all the American Girl stores are listed on the American Girl website. So if you would like to personally let American Girl know your thoughts and opinions on it, definitely make sure you guys go to one of those options and let your voice be heard. Anyway, that is that. So here's what I wanna say about American Girl as a luxury brand, because it's like factual that American Girl is a luxury brand. These are dolls that are factually like a luxury brand. And I feel like people forget that whenever they say that things aren't that deep. Specifically with these boxes, a lot of people are like, go touch grass. But if you're buying a $125 product and it's known to be luxury, something like downgrading on the box is definitely not giving luxury. You know, I definitely have a diva behavior. I'm very self-aware in that sense. And for me, seeing a brand that I have grown up with kind of go backwards and downgrade on the quality of even something like packaging, it is very stressful and frustrating. And because it's for children and because children aren't getting that same experience and quality that I had growing up, I actually feel even more upset about it because I feel like children are not being able to have that high quality luxury experience, but still having to pay that like luxury experience price tag. And that doesn't feel very fair to me, which is why I definitely for sure feel some type of diva behavior way about it. Because when you're spending $125 for a doll, the quality and the packaging and everything with it better look and feel like $125. So that's my little two cents. Back to her story for a hot minute. I think that American Girl <laughs> releasing a doll with a small business is actually really ironic in a time right now that American Girl, specifically Mattel, is basically doing copyright claims towards Etsy sellers right now, like small business Etsy sellers that have clothing patterns for 18 inch dolls. Not to be the town gossip here, but essentially over the weekend, American Girl did copyright some Etsy sellers who sell American Girl patterns that have nothing to do with anything that American Girl is currently releasing, by the way. But essentially, American Girl was doing copyright claims against a bunch of Etsy sellers over the weekend, and all these small businesses are essentially having to change things around. And some of them, from my understanding, have a fear that their stores may even be closing because American Girl dolls are being used as models. I don't wanna get too much into it. There are Instagram posts and full on like people doing you know, new segments on it on Instagram, but that is something that's happening right now. And I feel like American Girl doing a doll that is based around a small business and starting up. Yeah, that's pretty uh, bad timing on their part <laughs> to be doing all those copyright claims right now that they're releasing a doll that is all for small businesses. I just wanted to mention that if you were unaware of that, that is something that I just wanted to bring to light in case you were unaware, because I think that that is no bueno.
that stinks, <laughs> especially if they're just being used as models. But who knows? I don't know. Maybe I am wrong for thinking that, but I think it's a really big slap in the face. That's the girly. That's the doll. Those are my opinions on her. Moving right along. We have Summer's accessories for 18 inch dolls. These are $30. I would not buy this ever unless it was on sale in like a year or whenever American Girl does like their sales where like the more you buy, the more you save kind of thing. But for me personally, I'm not buying any of her accessories. I don't like that headband and the bag is the only thing that I would want from this. But even then, no. I would not personally recommend it for $30. You can pick some of the other items for $30. I feel like that is a better deal for you than spending $30 on some bracelets, a cup, a headband, a chew toy, and a bag. Yeah. Moving right along, we have her dog, Crescent. Now, with Crescent specifically, here is what I'm going to say to you. If you are someone that actually reads the Girl of the Year stories and you actually want to connect with this doll, I definitely would say go ahead and pick up this animal because he is a key character in her stories. So if you are definitely someone like story-oriented and you want to have everything that is part of her story, definitely get Crescent because everything from the jacket to the leash and everything, there is key parts of why he looks like that in her story. So for $38, it's part of her collection. I would say go ahead and get it. But if you're just looking at this and you have no intentions of reading Miss Gurley's book, don't buy this. For $38, do not buy this. Unless you plan on connecting it back to her story, do not buy this because that dog on its own with that no. I have no intentions of getting the dog. I'm not someone that very much feels connected to, you know, characters' stories, unless I, like, truly, truly, truly feel connected to the character. But so far from what I've read, I have no connection to Crescent, so I personally will not be getting him. Moving right along, we have Summer's Cat Fettuccine for $38, same price as Mr. Crescent. Sorry, Crescent is a boy <laughs> and Fettuccine is, I'm pretty sure, a boy as well. Both Fettuccine and Crescent are both boys. So that's really interesting considering the fact that Fettuccine literally has a bow in his hair, but I mean, it's 2025, anything goes. So this cat specifically, I have a personal connection to this cat. I read some of the story and from my understanding, Fettuccine is a problem child within the story and I personally love that. So when I started reading that Fettuccine was kind of like a big problem to Summer, I felt a personal connection to that. So I was actually fairly happy. And because I have a personal connection to the cat, I'm gonna say, yeah, go get it. I don't own cats in real life, but I definitely would say that reading the story definitely gave me a connection to Fettuccine. So I would say get it if again, you wanna connect it back to her story. If not, I would only ever get this because of the backpack. Now, from my understanding with the cats that American Girl releases, other cats will definitely fit into this bag. Like I'm pretty sure Rebecca's cats may fit into this, previous Girl of the Year cats may fit into this, but dogs, like the hard body dogs that, that American Girl releases will not fit into this bag. I feel like that goes without saying, but I just want to reiterate that. The bag itself, the quality of it, I wish that the center of it was a plastic instead of the vinyl that it is because it's really, really like soft and I would like it to be a lot firmer. The front is plastic and the straps are adjustable and I feel like this is worth it because of the bag. If Miss Fettuccine was by himself, I definitely would say that it's not worth it, but because the bag is part of it, I personally, again, tying it back to the story, deem it worth. But if you're not tying it back to the story, don't buy it. $38 for one of these animals is crazy. But if you are getting an attachment to the character from the books, I would say go ahead and get it. Next, we have some of the outfits. So let's go over her sleepwear first. For $32, we have her Stars and Snuggle PJs for dolls. In my opening video, and even when I saw leaks of this outfit, I was very much like hit or miss about this outfit. I have decided that I'm going to keep the outfit, but I am not going to recommend the outfit. I feel like for the price tag and for what it is, I personally just do not deem it to be it for $32. Do you guys remember when American Girl pajamas were $24? Like way, way back in the day. Like it really used to just be like $24 flat and it was amazing. It was gorgeous. The pajamas were cute, all of that. But this onesie, I feel like you can find this on Amazon and kind of get the same quality. The only difference between those and this is the fact that this one is branded with American Girl stars like everywhere. So if you want an American Girl branded like PJ, like full on outfit, this is for you. But me personally, 
if I had the choice to rebuy this again, I wouldn't. My mini me is gonna be rocking this for a hot minute, but for the most part, I would say if you're looking on getting this, if you're kind of like in limbo of whether or not you want this, I personally would say spend the extra money and buy one of the other outfits as opposed to her pajamas. I wouldn't get it. So that's me. And I even have them. Not worth it for $32. Okay, moving on to her sleep accessories for $35. The only thing I'm going to say is absolutely not. For $35 for that, no, 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 no. No. You can buy one secondhand. You can buy one on Macari. If you're really looking for an American Girl doll sleeping bag, there are definitely more inexpensive versions of American Girl sleeping bags on Macari, on eBay, just waiting for you to purchase them. I would not purchase this and I would not deem it worth it whatsoever. Wait for this to go on sale if you are truly, truly in dire need of this one specifically. Do not spend your money on this now. I would rather you save your money and buy one of the other items or one of the other outfits, but not this. No, 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 no. We have Summer's dog accessories for $36. I'm gonna say wait for this one to go on sale. It's cute, but it's not $36 cute. I know it comes with the two bowls and like the chew toy and the brush and like the bed. And the bed is actually pretty big, but I'm gonna say no. It is part of her story. Fettuccine like sleeps on it a bunch of times and Crescent gets all like mad about it. But I definitely would say wait for this one. I'm not giving it an absolute like, no, don't ever buy this. I'm giving it like a wait for it to go on sale. Like we can wait. That's definitely something that I can wait for and get in a month, a year, maybe two years when this whole collection goes on sale, but I wouldn't purchase this anytime soon. Cool. Going on to outfits, we have Summer's Waggy Pup Tails outfit for 18 inch dolls for $38. Now, like I said before, I actually have this on my Summer doll. I love this outfit so much. It's so cute. The pieces to this are so adorable. The pockets in the skirt where the hearts are is so adorable. And the jacket, I do wish instead of the windbreaker material, it was a different material. I just wish it was a little bit thicker. But overall, this whole outfit is really, really adorable adorable. It's $38, but if you're going to buy anything from her collection, I would say buy the doll and buy this outfit because you could utilize the pieces from this outfit with other stuff. And I think that it's really, really, really adorable. I personally, once I get a different shirt, I definitely will be changing out the waggy pup tails one because I'm not trying to keep Summer McKinney within her story. I am trying to modernize her. And for me, just a simple white cropped t-shirt will age her so much more older than the waggy pup tails and her read like a nine-year-old. So I definitely for sure will be making that slight change, but it's literally that small of a change and the outfit is still adorable overall. So I definitely give this one the stamp of approval and would say if you want to buy this one at full price, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Next for $34, we have her bake sale outfit. Now this outfit, the shoes are the annoying part of this outfit. The fact that you kind of have to like maneuver everything to avoid scratching her vinyl. I don't know if you guys necessarily care about that. I'm very protective of my dolls and like the glitter on this can make little, little scratches in your doll's vinyl. That would annoy me and hearing that would annoy me. So I definitely would say be careful with these shoes if you plan on putting them on your summer doll. Be careful, stretch them out as much as you can, you know, be very careful because if you let that flap on the back of the shoes go inward, it will scratch underneath your doll's heel. I don't know, to some people it's not the end of the world. To me though, hearing, knowing it, it's just gonna bug me. So just be mindful of that. I wish that the headband was different on this. I do wish it was like a full on like 3D cupcake on her head with a little bit of like, I don't know, some tool around it, that kind of thing. Kind of like the Jenny's ice cream headband that they have. I think that that would have been a lot cuter. But overall, cute pieces. All together, it is a lot. For $34, I've sat with it. I've digested it. And I'm going to say that I think it's cute. Wait for it to go on sale. But it is a cute outfit. And I do give my stamp of, of approval for this outfit overall. So, yes. I would say go ahead and buy it, but be careful with those shoes. Very careful with those shoes. 
Cool. Moving on, we have Summer's Baking Accessories for $50. You guys, I actually really like this set overall. I love the mixer. I love the apron. I love all the little accessories. I do wish there was like one or two more things, but overall for $50 for American Girl, this does not surprise me whatsoever. And from my understanding, the little mixer does actually mix. Let me just make sure that that is correct. Yeah, they spin. So like that little mixer, I mean, American Girl is going to pedal that as much as they can, but for $50, I think it's cute. I do think that it's still somewhat worth it and really, really, really cute. I really like all of the colors on this and I do like how bright the mixer is. I feel like we've seen this mixer before in the One Kitchen set, but again, I think it's cute and it's a really cute way to have some baking accessories. So that's adorable. Now, moving on to her treat cart for $125. This is definitely worth it in my opinion. It reminds me of Kanani Shave Ice Stand, which I think that back in the day it was like $115. But this, I actually really like it because if you don't put on the Wacky Pup Tales sticker, it can just be a concession stand. And like a lot of this stuff, if you change it out with other accessories you may have, it can just be a concession for other things. But there are accessories within this that I think are really, really adorable. Specifically like the little card reader. I think the little bags are cute. I think that all the little treats are really adorable. I mean, overall, it's a cute piece. And for $125, this is actually fair in my personal opinion for American Girl. Because again, I remember Kanani Shave Ice Stand and that was like $115, $100, something around that area. And so with inflation and everything, this is kind of like the modern equivalent to that. And I'm not mad at this whatsoever. I think that in the future, could I see myself buying this? No. Do I think that I ever will buy this? No. But like, most things in life, I will probably end up having this some way magically down the road. I don't know how, I don't know where, I don't know where I would even put it, but I think it's really cute. And I do think that this is a cute little moment for her. I do love the little tips jar. That's cute. And I love all the little accessories with like the little like numbers so that way you know the prices. But if you have a lot of American Girl food, you could pretty much have your American Girl doll sell anything in this. And I do think it's versatile. And I love the fact that the Waggy Pup Tales whole like branding isn't solidified on the actual cart. It's a sticker from my understanding. And so that is really, really adorable. And I think that it's really cute for the price tag. $125, I think it's cute. You could get the doll and you can get this and it, it, it be okay and dandy. I give this the stamp of approval, but again, I'm not buying it anytime soon. Okay, that is it for everything that was released brand new for summer. I didn't obviously go over children's clothing or like anything like that because I'm not a child. I'm not gonna be wearing any of that. But I will say this, that American Girl did reuse the kitchen, the table for two set and a bunch of animals and that American Girl pet spa and daycare. The one thing I will say is that I do find the kitchen worth it. I do have a video on that on my YouTube opening up the kitchen. I bought it secondhand, so I didn't pay full price for it, but I think it's a cute little kitchen and I think it definitely fits within her world. And then the table for two set, buy it. It is one of my favorite table sets from American Girl and I think that it is so adorable. I love that table for two set. The pet spot and daycare, do not buy it. For $150, you are being scammed. <laughs> I'm so sorry. $150 for that is insane. $100, sure, but not $150. That's crazy that it's more expensive than the treat cart thing. Like, it blows my mind, but absolutely not. I would not say buy that. And then all the animals, like the chihuahua, the doodle, I mean, like everything else that is being utilized for her collection, I would say, you know, it's whether or not you want it or not. But for me personally, having all those animals, I personally wouldn't get any of them. The chihuahua is cute. I do have him. But again, I would use the rewards for any of those extra little things, like the animals and stuff like that. But I would never go out of my way to pay full price for, like, dog that just comes with a bone so yeah especially since her entire collection is kind of like averaging around like 30 35 dollars instead of buying a dog i definitely would say like buy the outfits buy the accessories but like the animals themselves like if you're gonna get one get crescent or fettuccine for sure also that new canopy bed for 165 dollars for some reason i can't connect with these canopy beds they released one like two years ago and now this is basically the same canopy bed just like changed around a little bit I'm gonna say hard no on that one. Something about it, I don't know what it is. 
just I, I, it's not my favorite American Girl bed that they've ever released. And if we're gonna do canopy beds, like why are we making it a box? But that's just me. That is it for my opinions on Summer and her collection. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, before we go, I do wanna reiterate that I am aware that this is a children's brand and they are gearing this towards children. I am aware of the fact that that is what it is. So yeah, those are all my thoughts and opinions. All right, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My name is Chris. You guys can follow me on my Instagram, which is at the doll studio by Chris. Make sure you guys like this video, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions. Be respectful in the comments always, okay? I love reading your comments, getting your opinions, getting your thoughts, all of that. But of course, just always be respectful in the comments to one another and to me. These are just my opinions. They are not personal attacks on anybody. So yes, definitely make sure you guys let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna continue reading Summer Story and get knee deep in her story and either love her character, not love her character. I don't know. I'll let you guys know on my Instagram, which is at the doll studio by Chris. So make sure you guys are following me there. Make sure you guys are following me on my TikTok, which is Chris American Girl. And make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. There is going to be a giveaway coming very, very soon. So you definitely want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and have that notification bell turned on so that way you guys are notified about every single time that I post. All right. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>